So she was actually suggested many times in the past, so I just decided to create her. So now, let's just get straight into the tutorial. Once you have gotten into any available character slot, the first thing you want to do is go to basic information and of course name her. So her name is the Invisible Woman. Invisible Woman. Very easy, just like that. For her backstory, you can add one, but you know I don't. For her alignment, I just recommend good and lawful. For her abilities, I recommend martial arts and um, a laser blast because you know she can like you know you know blast kind of lasers. So I'll just make it a dark blue because that's the most accurate color that um this game has. Okay, so for her next ability, I'm just of course gonna give her a force field. Again, make it that dark blue. And um, for her final ability, I'm gonna give her invisibility. So yeah, that's it for her powers. So now for her skin color, I just recommend this peach color. I think it actually looks pretty accurate. Death style doesn't really matter and transformation style doesn't really matter. So now you're just gonna give her a suit. Give her a full suit and make it just like third darkest blue cause that's the most accurate color in the game. Okay, so now you are gonna give her armor, arm armor. Just give her wrist armor, make it black, and also gloves, again, make it that black color. So for her chest armor, you're gonna give her a belt, make it black, and upper armor, again, black. So Okay, so now you're gonna give her an emblem, of course. Just give her a circle emblem, make it this white color, and then use the brick texture so it kind of looks like a four. You're also gonna edit the edges and make them black. Then use the first um, texture to like, you know, so there won't be um, any brick texture on the edges. So yeah, just add that on. Okay, so um, now you are gonna give her boots. Just give her tall super boots and make them black. So yeah, that's basically it for the suit. So for her um, actual face, for her eyebrows, you're just gonna give her happy eyebrows. Okay, so for her eyes, um, I recommend neutral eyes. I actually think those look pretty good. And for her mouth, I recommend a sad mouth. Or I guess you can use a surprised mouth. Either one will work, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give her a sad mouth. And for her hair, um, for her hair, I recommend the, um, where is it? I recommend the Animazing hair. I actually think that's the most accurate, like, out of all the hairs. And you're just gonna make it this, like, like blonde color. So yeah, that's basically how you make the Invisible Woman. So here she is, and she actually looks pretty great in my opinion. I mean, her overall suit is actually pretty accurate. Like, everything is there, like the gloves, the boots, even the belt. Like, also, the upper armor is actually pretty accurate, too. I just kind of wish I could have actually gave her an actual four, but I think the texture works well enough. Also, for her face, I think, again, it, wor it works well enough. I just kind of wish it was a bit better. I don't know how, but, yeah, I just kind of wish it looked a bit more, you know, uh, it suited her a bit better. But for her hair, her hair is actually pretty accurate in my opinion. I just kind of wish it was a bit less messy. Um, but, like, the overall size is actually pretty accurate. And it's probably the most accurate hair in the game for, um, the Invisible Woman. So, now, let's just get straight into the abilities. So, the first power I gave her is Martial Arts, because she does use her hands to fight sometimes. So, yeah, with Martial Arts, she can kick and punch. There you go. And I also did give her a Laser Blast, because she does have one. So, yeah, there you go. It's actually um, very effective. It's definitely one of my favorite abilities. So let's just do it again. Yeah, and it is actually a pretty accurate color in my opinion. Okay, so I also did give her a force field, of course. So, you know, um, you can just place it like that. It's the wrong shape, and I kind of wish it just like went around her. But, you know, I, I think it's probably the most accurate you're going to get in this game. And it honestly works pretty well. So for her final ability, I, of course, I had to give her invisibility. So yeah, she can just turn invisible. It's such a great ability in my opinion. And it's so fun to play around with, like, you just go like that. 
you can turn invisible. It's definitely a very awesome ability. So yeah, that's basically it for the powers. So overall, I'm actually very happy with the way she turned out. I mean, her overall look is actually pretty accurate in my opinion, and it's probably the best you can do in this game. And her abilities are actually pretty accurate too. So yeah, in the comments below, tell me your thoughts on this creation. Also, how can I improve it? Finally, who should I create next? So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe. So, bye guys!